Review. What factors affect the period of a pendulum? Hi, so this week you've been working on labs to try and figure out what factors actually affect the period of a pendulum or the time it takes for the pendulum to complete one full swing. You've been testing out three factors which are mass, length of the pendulum, and also the distance that you pull back the pendulum. Now it's time to wrap things up and review before you do your quiz. So the period of a pendulum is the time for the pendulum to complete one cycle or one swing. So that means it is time for the pendulum to swing away from one fixed point and back to that fixed point and that counts as one swing. Now to calculate the period of the pendulum in the lab, you took the time that the pendulum was swinging divided by the number of swings. So for the lab that you completed, the time that we used which was 30 seconds. So in 30 seconds you counted the number of swings and then did 30 divide by the number of swings and that told you the time it took for one complete pendulum swing or the period of a pendulum. The units for the period of pendulum is going to be seconds because it is the time that it takes for the pendulum to complete one full swing. So for the first lab, you manipulated or you changed on purpose the mass of the pendulum. To change the mass of the pendulum, you kept adding on more weights. So for instance, you had maybe a pendulum that had one washer on it compared to a pendulum that had four washers on it. And you were measuring the number of swings that it would make in 30 seconds. So let's kind of take a look at this by comparing two pendulums simultaneously. So there are certain things that we had to keep the same in order to keep the experiment fair. So for example, you could see that both pendulums are the same length. In this case, they happen to be both 36 centimeters. When I pull them back, I'm going to pull them back this exact same distance to make sure that they're being dropped from the same height. And then lastly, another thing that matters could be, for instance, I needed to make sure that I just let the pendulums drop. Like I don't give them an additional push and add energy to the system. And we're going to count how many times the pendulum swings in 30 seconds. So let's try this out. So we got 23 swings or a period of 1.30 seconds for both pendulums. I guess that the mass of the pendulum doesn't seem to affect the period of a pendulum. For the second experiment, you are manipulating or changing the length of the pendulum to see how that affects the number of swings in 30 seconds and therefore the length of time or the period for one swing. So you can see my pendulum here has the length of 36 centimeters, and this pendulum over here has half that length of about 18 centimeters. But in this situation, we have only one washer on each pendulum, so their masses are unchanged, and I'm going to pull them back the same distance and let them go without any additional force. And then we could count to see if the number of swings that pendulum does is any different. The pendulum in the front had 23 swings or a period of 1.3 seconds. The pendulum in the back had 37 swings and a period of 0.81 seconds. I guess that the length of the pendulum does matter. So for the third experiment, you changed on purpose the distance that you were pulling back the pendulums. 
In order to keep the experiment fair, we are keeping the length of the pendulums the same. So in this case, both of my pendulums are 36 centimeters. They also both have one washer on it, so the pendulums are the same mass. And also, when I pull back the pendulums, I'm not going to give them any type of additional push or energy. I'm just going to let them fall, and then we would measure how many times it was able to swing in 30 seconds, and from there, figure out how long a certain swing would take. Well, it seems like both pendulums had 23 swings for a period of 1.3 seconds. Again, I guess that the distance that you pull back the pendulum doesn't make a big difference after all. I hope this review about the labs made sense to you. When it's time for you to take your quiz, keep in mind that it is open resource and you get two tries during the class period. Make use of the brain building broadcasts and the pie charts and also your word wall and your lab work. I think that you're going to do good on the quiz. I really think that you got the swing of pendulums. I'm going to pat myself on the back for that one.